Protect me, gun! Hello! Hi, we're Nerpool, and today we're going to be bringing you a movie review. Well, we're some of Nerpool. Roy's in school, Tom is ill. It happens. We watched Super 8, the new Steven Spielberg film. Here is a little clip from the trailer. Synopsis. If you are not a fan of spoilers, like our friend Tommy, please click the annotation in the screen now. They didn't click it. Are you sure? Are you really sure? They still haven't they clicked it. They must be. Yeah, they, they, must, they must be fine with it. All right. Super 8 is mainly about a boy called Joe Lamb, who is the son of the deputy sheriff in this town. There's Joe Lamb, his four friends, and Alice Daynard. Joe's Mother died in a steel working in a steelworks accident when she was taking the shift for Alice's father. So there's always already a bit of a tension between Alice's father and Joe's father. And Joe's father is the deputy sheriff, so it can be a bit awkward. Basically, they're shooting a zombie horror film, um, or doing their best to when sure. Doctor Woodward, who worked on some secret, top secret government projects a long time ago, pulls out in front of a moving train, drives straight towards it, and derails the train. Remarkably still stays in one piece. Yeah, he is, a, well, he's relatively okay. He's quite mashed up, but he he's has not- He just hit a train. He's alive, is the point, which is he's phenomenal. Mm. Joe sees one carriage of the train burst open, then is distracted by something he doesn't see, a giant, monstrous alien crawl out. Okay, and as the six kids sort of skirt around the outside of the train disaster, it slowly becomes apparent uh, the truth about what this monster is, where it came from, why it's doing what it is, and how they can get it to go away. So, uh, that's the synopsis. No, you, can, you can stop hiding behind the couch now. That is if you don't know how to work annotations. Taking the duck and cover position, hands over their ears, fears running down their face, they just don't know what to do. Okay, um, Chromat, what did you think of the movie? Um, I quite enjoyed it. Um, I'd say some of the characters are a little unlikable. Yeah, I think, okay, that's um, probably an opinion that, I, that rubbed off from me. We really hate the fat kid. He is like, not. he's just, He's so bossy. It's just weird. Mm. I, he's just like, I, I don't know. He, I think even um, the girl brings it up that he's really bossy. Yeah, she actually mentions it at one point. She says, "Why, why do you let your friend, you know, push you around all the time?" And it's like, "Yeah, Joe, why do you let your friend push you around all the time?" Hmm. It's very Steven Spielberg. There are all his sort of trademark things there. We didn't look out for the shooting star. Because I forgot, but... There was a kid on a bicycle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are kids on bicycles, there are young love between pre-teens, there's a... Uh, there... monster that could be mistaken if, uh, for a mangled dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, okay. Technically there are dinosaurs. Um, the... <coughs> and of course there's the monster who's actually a, a lovely guy at heart. And it's just misunderstood by everyone. That's why he obliterated two thirds of the town. Yes. <coughs> it's e it, to be in their defence, it's easy to misunderstand someone if they don't speak your language and they've just shot you. Yes. Slash eaten you. <laughs> Slash stolen your car engine to build a spaceship. Ten times their height. They're probably feeling a bit intimidated. Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm seeing where they're coming from, but... Uh... Still, I should hear it. I know the story first. 
They need to remember that when you point, there are three fingers pointing back at you. Or in this case, there are 20 fingers, because it has four arms. Would you say that there being an alien in it is very stereotypically Spielberg-like? Uh, one of his trademarks, yeah. yeah. I think um, it's a trademark of his to have an alien that <laughs> is, is lovely. Like, it's very... Okay, Superbug is very comparable to Close Encounters of the Third Kind because they skirt around the edges of something for a long time and then right at the end they just plunge in have a big like face to face with the alien and in both cases a heart to heart the, joe joe lamb says you know i know you're afraid go home uh, the aliens in the close encounters of course which you, well, you probably you should watch close encounters it's just great um, I'm rapidly losing confidence that yeah. Close Encounters is a Steven Spielberg film. I'm and then also E.T. E obviously E.T. was a very a friendly alien. Yeah, that was... A, <laughs> rather than the uh, probing, flying in a spaceship, eating dogs kind of alien. I would say it was more heart to heart. It was, it was finger to heart. It was delightful. We pro we've probably edited this quite a bit. Okay. Um, I'm just Googling whether Close Encounters is a Steven Spielberg movie, because the more I say that it is, the less confidence I have in that fact. <laughs> okay. Okay. Crow, what was your favourite part of the movie? I have to say the reel at the end where they show their attempt at a zombie film. Because I'll be honest, I can't remember many of the other scenes in the film. I can remember sort of major parts, but nothing that particularly stood out. But then there was their movie, their the zombie movie at the end, which was horrific at best. My favourite part of the movie, uh, just to skip a little ahead if you consider this a spoiler, but I don't think you will. Um, my favourite part of the movie was they're driving up the hill, they see a tank, everyone starts panicking, and the guy whose car it is is really high, and he's just asleep in the middle. And they all start panicking because there's a tank there, and Joe turns around to him and goes, Donnie! Donnie! And Carrie on the back seat goes, He's too high! <laughs> it, which is just brilliant. Uh, that's my favourite part of the film. Uh, who would you say your favourite character from the film was? Um, I think it was the, the kid in the film reel at the end who said, This fell out of the pocket... No, this fell out of the pocket of the pocket of the attacker. He doesn't seem to quite grasp the, the concept of pockets. Maybe he means the condom pocket, but that's not actually a pocket belonging to the main pocket. That was an adorable little chubby kid. He wasn't fat, because I hate fat kids, but he was, he was an adorable little chubby kid who appeared in their, in their end zombie movie. That was, he, he was just lovely. Um, either him or maybe uh, Carrie, because he likes to set things on fire. That's, that's just hilarious. I would maybe say the stoner guy. <laughs> He has very little to do in the film. I think his first line is well, one of his first lines because the kids are at his store and they're wanting to buy some film. Was and he just says while well, he's like packing this up, he's like, "Hey, do you want to buy some pot?" It's just I latently out there. I love that bit. Um, I love the fact that actually his first line is "asshole, nobody can do overnight." Which is, which is a great first line to have. And then there's the fact that he's just, like, he's trying to go out with this kid's sister by, by sort of hitting on her through the kid. It's kind of a bit, you know, it's, a, it's really bad, but it's, a, it's very funny. I, I really see where you're coming from, he's very good. Could you pick out a best performance from any one actor? Not many stood out to me, I mean, but if I had to pick one off the top of my head, I'd maybe go with um, Ellie Fanning, who was the... Uh, Alice. Alice Daynard. Alice Daynard. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I thought I saw that. She was good. Uh, how, how about you? Who, who would you say was your stand-up performance? Uh, I really liked Kyle Chandler as uh, Jackson... Jackson Lamb. Jo the, um, the, the main character. Uh, his father. Yeah, I, I think he's great. I, I just think the whole... I mean, his character isn't likeable all the time. Because at times you're, sort of cut, you're kind of thinking... Why is this guy doing this book? I think the act, um, the mark of a good actor sometimes is to be unlikable. Yeah. Yeah, because it's hard. I guess it's easy to win an audience in some ways, yeah. but to make them actually dislike you, 
That takes a bit more. Yeah, I liked him. But any last thoughts before? It's a good film to just watch. You can have it watch on a nice like, Sunday evening. You just want to blast through something. I wouldn't say it had really that much of an identity of its own. As no, saying, it uh, was yeah. quite a Steven Spielberg. Yeah. It just sort of moulded in with the others. Yeah, it seems like he took some uh, popular concepts and just meld them, welded them together to try and make a good selling film. Yeah, I thought, okay, um, if I was to say my last thoughts on the film, I'm going to try not to give too much away here, but basically there's a part where all the metal is flying together. And uh, this one guy's gun Oddly, all the, not, not all the soldiers' guns fly to it. Just one soldier's. But he won't let go. And it flies up. He flies up with it. it, it it's very short of him to, uh, just going, Protect me, gun! He's just... It's just... Okay, if I had to say my last thoughts, that thought can't get out of my head, so I need to mention it before. But I think it's very valid what you said. It really folds in with the other films. It's just sort of a... Uh, it's almost like... Uh, Steven Spielberg had a kind of in incomplete bubble that he just needed to add a bit more on. If he, if all of his movie career is a statue, then it's not like th the face or the sword or the horse. It's the jacket or maybe, <laughs> well, maybe the plinth. Uh, I don't know. It, it's nothing special, but it's a good movie. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's nothing way out there. No, it's not spectacular, but okay. Your score out of ten. My score out of ten would perhaps be. I'm going to go for a seven and a half. It's a fair score. I'm going to go slightly lower. I'm going to go for a seven. Uh, okay. All right, then. We'll see you in the next video where we're gonna, just going to give you our thoughts on Hellboy and Hellboy 2, uh, which we watched recently. Okay, so please check that out. See you then. See you soon.